welcome everyone it's rp jimmy and we are live myself and bill bill how are you doing with some more wrestle quest specifically for aew dynasty yes it is happening it's going down it's we're, going down we're gonna do something a little bit different than our previous what two other streams because we did revolution and wrestlemania night two I want to start off going, not going over the card for AEW Dynasty, but like overall thoughts on how you feel that this, I guess, level of excitement, if you want to call it that, um, and then we'll continue with WrestleQuest here. Um, why don't you start off? I mean, there's like really two, maybe three matches I'm really looking forward to tonight. Um, obviously, Osprey and Danielson. That's probably the main one. And I'm also interested to see in if Swerve can win the title tonight. Mm -hmm. um, I, I don't know. I, I, I'm sure a lot of people are probably thinking, oh, it's a done deal. But not necessarily is it a done deal, you know, that Swerve's going to win the title. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm kind of interested to see that. And then... I'm interested to see in Okada and Pac taking place. As far as the rest of the card, I don't know. I It's like some of it I feel a little underwhelmed with. And then there are those where it's like, okay, I've seen it before. How can they, you know, do this again? Can it be topped? So that that's kind of my feeling going into this show. All right. Now, as far as I go, uh, I will mention just like... WrestleMania, uh, well, I didn't do exactly the same thing, because at WrestleMania, I believe I watched March 26th or whatever one that you told me to watch of the Raw to right. kind of get caught up beforehand. This time, I actually watched the Dynamite before the, the previous Dynamite, this past Wednesday's Dynamite. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, I don't know. I'm very underwhelmed by everything. Um, I... I want to want. I, I, I was talking to Josiah the other day. I want to be excited about Danielson versus Osprey. The problem that I have here is that we all know Danielson's not going to win. Exactly. That's the problem. We, and, and that's the problem with a lot of the Danielson matches these days is we know more than likely he's not going to win. And, and I think, you know, that's predictable. Um, and, I, and I think, how many matches are there tonight? Because last I checked, there were. Okay, so on the main show, it's nine. They do have pre-show matches. Okay. So but I don't know if you want to count them or not. Not right now, because I don't think I even know them, to be honest with you. Okay, I know so that then... there's a couple of the ones on the main show that I'm just not... I, I either don't care or I'm just not interested. I yeah, mean, I so on the... the same thing. So yeah, on the main show, it's nine matches. Okay. Do you remember what we did on WrestleQuest last time? Uh, the last time, uh, Sergeant Slaughter recruited us for him to be our manager. That's correct. Uh, and then we're, I, I did, oh, last time, I wasn't really sure where to go. And that's how we ended it, because I was like, all right, forget it. We've all, we're done over two hours here. Yeah. Let's, let me figure this out off recording. And mm -hmm. I did figure it out. We're going here. And then we have to go back to these docks. Okay. And I don't know why they don't give me the option from here to just go, but there's going to be another option on the other docks. That's what's going on. Uh, so, uh, anyway, the pre-show is what? 7 o'clock and the main show is yeah. 8 o'clock? Right. Yes. Yeah, pre-show's at 7, main's at 8. So now watch, look, now I go back to this. Oh, look, it's another duck. Hmm. San Sebastian. Sebastian Ducks. Sebastian. Yeah, that's where we wanted to go. So let's see what new storyline develop, developments happen here, and we'll start going over the pre-show, which you said mm -hmm. two matches. I believe there's two. There may be three. Oh, look who it, look, look who it is. Oh, ah, LaParca. Let's go visit the LaParca statue. 
Or the L.A. Park statue. That's true, too. It could be L.A. Park. <laughs> Prolific luchador, L.A. Park has wrestled for nearly every promotion in Mexico and beyond, winning numerous titles and countless fans. Joined by his son and several imposters in the ring, there is often much mystery over just who is under the skeletal mask of L.A. Park. Known for his perchant to use steel folding chairs to keep order, L.A. Park is aptly nicknamed the Chairman. L.A. Park has been known to keep the peace in Salanzo, a nearby town. I guess that's where we're going. Right. L.A. Park is the master of the chair shot. A. Or I. I can just hear the snap of it now. The snap of what? I. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's get to let's talk about the first pre-show match while we go to this new town. Okay, so the first one that I've got, and I think this is the big of of the pre-show matches. This is the big one. It is the acclaimed versus Bullet Club Gold for both the AEW Trios and Ring of Honor Six-Man Tag Titles. These belts are being unified. No matter what happens, like Thank whoever wins, God. they're unifying the belt. Oh, we created. Oh, here we go. Brink. Oh. Hey, I, I recognize this place. I've seen postcards. Is this a peril at Cubrada Silvermine board game? Board game? We have to go through here to see to San Sebastian. But when we do, we will have quite a fiesta to welcome you to our town. Just wait until you meet my wife. She's the best. Best what? <laughs> best everything. Hey, especially in the... Uh, uh, excuse me? <laughs> <laughs> This is Senora Lochador. So just do your lo Lochador, but wait, I All guess right. for a higher pitch. Yeah. Husband! You better not be sharing private details again! I don't think if I want to know those. <laughs> Uh, no, of course not. I would never. Good. Remember what happened last time. <gasps> Mi vida. Allow me to introduce Brink and Stag Logan, the honest bugs. They're here for a tag team championship. We're always happy to meet another member of the Lochador family. Then you're in luck. I'm here with our children. Oh god, I can't wait for you to do the children voice of... <laughs> My Locha Ninos. This is a bit out of the way for a family outing, though, isn't it? Luchador Championship Wrestling is having an event here to show off the high-flying skills of our luchadors and luchadoras. They've installed several tropicals and ropes to act the springboards. The kids wanted to see. What fun! I wish I could have helped. It has been too long since I've seen them. God, I get every character. <laughs> Come on, Karina! You can at least help me wrangle them back up! There you go. Scene ended. Luckily for you. <laughs> and scene. Oh, maybe not. Good thing I just took some water. 
what, what's that rumbling? And where are the Rochaninos? Santos Dios! <laughs> Those cows? Uh, A stampede! Where did it come yeah. from? <laughs> oh, and they all fell! Oh, lovely! Who's this guy on the bridge that's going back and forth? <laughs> Kids, just a blood. I'm coming. Me, amigos. Hi. We're, we're with you, Lochador. Let's do this. I kind of want to see what this guy on the bridge is all about. <laughs> so I'll say this about the, the six men. First off, thank goodness they're finally merging the titles. Yeah. There's no reason for them to... Oh, it's an enemy. There's no reason for there to be both of those. Like, I don't, I don't even think there's really a need, to be honest with you, for a six-man title in general, but this is right. a step in the right direction. Yeah. That being said... Um, no, let me lower the volume on this a bit. What, what are your thoughts? I mean, I I am more than fine with them unifying the belt. Um, it's just one less title that, you know, fans have to watch about, think about. I'm not even going to say worry about, because I highly doubt there are people that worry about the trios title and the ring of honor six man tag titles right. um i think it's a good subtraction honestly and if it because i think whichever one wins i think the one that's going to get eliminated is the ring of honor six man tag titles yeah i think because they just had or they just put the uh, Ring of Honor women's television title. And I, I think if you eliminate a title, it works out best. So... I, I just don't care. Like, I, you know, if you remember, that's... When we started with the, the trio's title... Mm -hmm. It went with the Elite, and then the CM Punk stuff happened, and then after that, I just felt like even after the series, who was it? Um, who was the series? The Elite versus um, uh, uh, was it uh, the House uh, of Black? No. No, I think it was uh, D Death Triangle. Yes. After that was done, I don't think those belts ever felt really the same again. Mm -hmm. And even it felt like and even with the acclaimed, I feel first off. I don't know what's. If this is just me not watching, but boy, the acclaimed feel like they dropped off from where they were like a year ago. Oh my god, yeah, they really have, and and it's a shame too because the gimmick is good. They're really good in the ring. I'm a big Anthony Bowens fan. I think he has a lot of like raw potential to to be a singles competitor someday. Right. I don't know. And, Does he, do, you, do you have a pick on who you think is going to win this one? I'm I'm going with Bullet Club Gold. Do you think there's going to be anything weird going on? Like any turns? or Who's in Bullet Club Gold again? That's... Jay White and the Billy Guns Kids. Okay. But who's going to be it for this one? Oh, those are the three. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. Because the, cause the fourth one... Juice Robinson, he's been out of action for a long time. So I don't I don't know when he'll be back. So I don't I think I might be with you. I think that Bullet Club Gold might win, but I, I gotta be honest, I just it doesn't really matter to me. I don't Right. I'm just I am happy the tag team uh, the, the titles are being merged though. Yeah. But then again they kind of just added a new one too, so like I don't know. I mean, yeah. that's a problem not just with AEW. That's a problem in every promotion. 
Oh, you know what we should talk about, by the way, before we continue that I want to mention? Matt Hardy's back in TNA? I I saw that. Um, so his contract with AEW ran up. He is a free agent. He goes to TNA because TNA had a pay-per-view last night, which I which I did not watch. And he comes back as Broken Matt. Yes, I saw that. So I don't know if he's signed with TNA or if he's just going to be there for a few appearances before deciding, you know, if he's going to go to WWE or AEW again. I hope that he's signed there. I think that they're the part of the, in recent years. Out of the three promotions, he's been used the best there. I agree. I mean, boy, I was talking about... If, that's got to be a top five disappointment to me, is how Matt Hardy was using AEW. Yeah. Now, what's also interesting, and there were reports last night about this, TNA's in talks of bringing Tessa Blanchard back. I'm surprised by that. I, I am too. I think because Scott Demore's no longer there, mm. like they're bringing people back that, you know, may have been an issue for Demore, because Callahan came back. Um, I believe Santana came back, but I, I've never heard Santana having a problem with Demore. So. So does it look like Matt Hardy's challenging for the belt, or what's... I know he's fighting Moose. Is Moose the champion still? Yeah, Moose, Moose is still the champ. Why don't you give me the quick results for what happened, if you can pull that Yeah, up. let me let me do that real quick. Before we back. continue talking about this event without knowing anything. Right. Where are you, Zoom? I'm getting rocked by these people, by the way. All right, so let's see. Uh, Leon Slater and ABC beat the Rascals. Okay. Laredo Kid defeated Crazy Steve to win the digital media title. That's still going on, okay. Meaning that's the digital media championship. Yeah, the title is still going on, yeah. Uh, Jody Threat and Danny Luna defeated Decay, Havoc, and Rosemary. Okay. Uh, Mustafa Ali defeated Jake something to retain the X Division title. Rich Swan defeated Joe Hendry. I'm a little upset by that, but okay. I, I, I kind of figured you would be. Uh, Kazarian defeated Eric Young in Full Metal Mayhem. Wait, who beat Eric in Full Metal Mayhem? Kazarian. Oh. Um, Mike Santana, that Santana from LAX, defeated Steve Macklin. Oh, so uh, he had a comeback. He didn't come back on... Right. Okay. Uh, Eddie Edwards and Brian Myers defeated Speedball Mike Bailey and Trent Seven to stay the TNA Tag Champs. Josh Alexander defeated Alexander Hammerstone in a last man standing match. Uh, Jordan Grace defeated Steph DeLander to keep the knockouts title. And Moose defeated Nick Nemeth to stay the TNA champion. Oh, that's right. That's who was going for the... That's why I haven't been paying attention. There's my reason for why I haven't been watching TNA. <laughs> Nick Nemeth. Get out of here. Good, he lost. Hopefully he goes somewhere else now. Well, he'll probably be with New Japan for a while, so... I was like trying to remember, why am I not keeping up with TNA anymore? And then you said Nick Nemeth, I'm like, oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah, so what are, you, what are your thoughts as Sergeant Slaughter goes up a level? Military rank 2 of 6, apparently. I mean, I... scum, slime, and maggots. There you go. Honestly, I thought, because again, I didn't watch the show. With the way the card was set up, I thought there'd have been at least one or two title changes. Mm -hmm. 
but none of the none of it I mean the only one that changed was the digital media title but you know what can you do with that yeah so I have an idea of how I also I just that's something I came up with now when when we start talking about a new match of the show do mm -hmm. me a favor bill type in the in the chat box like now discussing and then put the match in that way when people if they just enter midway kind of know what match we're talking okay about. i think that's a good idea no yeah all right so I'm type in the that. next pre-show match that you want yep to i'm gonna do that right now uh yeah no oh not Knox. now Knox? Just... what <laughs> Uh, hold on, let me just... And there we go. That's our next match. Uh, Trent Beretta versus Matt Seidel. Where the hell did that come from? Okay, so... <laughs> I don't think I've even seen Matt Seidel in months. But then again, right. I haven't... The last show that I watched was the Wednesday after Sting's retirement match. That was the last right. one. Okay, so what happened is during the tag team title tournament, as you're about to pick up my first kid, or weren't, I don't know. <laughs> is that what we're doing? Oh, yeah. He has seven kids. Um. So Tran had teamed up with Orange Cassidy because Chuck is out with a foot injury. Okay. They lost in the semifinals to the Young Bucks. So after the match, they were going to do, you know, the group hug. And then Beretta hits Orange with a running high knee. Mm. And that instantly turned him heel. And then I think it was like this past Dynamite or the one before um, Orange had... A sink. Oh. Hey, little fish. How did you even get out here? All right, so I got one out of seven. It says it on the upper right. All right. So, I passed one then because I saw one of them over there. I didn't know I was supposed to talk yeah. to them though. So, so Orange is getting beat up, and Matt Seidel was one of the guys that was trying to come and aid Orange, and Trent attacked him. So that's why, you know, we th that's how we got this match. Right, okay. It just seems strange to me, because, like, has Matt Seidel been a consistent person on AEW TV as of late? Uh, maybe more Ring of Honor. Oh, ouch. All right, so I can't go... Oh, wait, but I could do this. Oh, did you get? Oh, try to go to the left. No, no. I, I, I'm. What I'm trying to do is, I want to leave, because I would like to buy equipment. Oh, Stag's dead, from the friggin' oh, cow the... stampede. We killed Stag. Script change. I know he's alive, but this is why I need to find some, some items or something. I'm not gonna survive mm -hmm. if I don't. Yeah. Um, so yeah, so anyway, Seidel. I mean, he's been like a couple times on AEW lately. Not much. Like, it's just that one appearance, and then that's basically how we get the match. Right. Oh, yeah, that's right. You're right. This is how I get out. Okay. I think. Yeah. Because I talked to him. There's the kid. <laughs> Luchador. Oh. My precious daughter, you are safe now. So do you care who wins this match or have a pick and all? Uh, I'm just going Trent. <laughs> <laughs> hmm, I don't think this place lets me leave. Hmm. Well, I guess I'll just have to go through it. Let's just use the springboard. Yep. Oh, no, that's, no, I'm going the right way. I gotta go down anyway. If I'm trying to leave. Yep, here it is. There you go. 
Oh, come on. All right, I guess I gotta find all the freaking kids. By the way, yep. you might want to get that walkthrough up at some point. <laughs> I don't know. I don't... Again, this is a match that I just don't care about. It. This is the yeah. epitome of a... This is why it's not on the main show. Exactly. I guess I'll go with... Beretta because he just turned? Yeah, that's that's my reason. <laughs> Alright, what's the next match you got? Alright. Put it uh, in the box first. Yep, I'll put it in the box. Oops. Kids are. These freaking kids. <laughs> I'm surprised this doesn't lead to anything. Okay. Alright. Now discussing Orange Cassidy and Katsuyori Shibata versus Shane Taylor and Lee Moriarty. That's a main card match? No, that's a pre-show match. Oh, that's another pre-show match. This is, this is the last of the okay. pre-show match. But you know when I was talking to you about the acclaimed earlier and how like mm -hmm. the drop off from the year? Mm -hmm. Why is this? This feels like a big drop off for Orange Cassidy. Oh my god, yeah. Like he'd been on pay per view forever. With the with that title belt. Yep. The international it was it the international yeah, the international title. Right. Um, so actually there is a little bit of a backstory for this one. But it's not big enough to be on pay per view. Okay. So there was, on Dynamite a few weeks ago, a six-man tag match where Shane Taylor Promotions was in a match with Shibata. Shibata was on the opposing team. Mm -hmm. Moriarty pinned Shibata in the six-man tag. And then, lately, Shane Taylor Promotions has kind of been aligned with Beretta with the whole thing with Orange Cassidy. So that's how we get this match. Okay. Um, I almost want to say that I would go with the Orange Cassidy team, but I'm not really that sure because I don't know. It just see again, isn't it, if I don't know. I have no idea who's going to win it, and I don't really have that much of an interest either. What do you think? Right. I would think Orange and Shibata are going to win. I'm going to try this. I'm going right. to save, and then I'm going to try to do the, uh, the cow thing. That way, if I get hurt, I can just reload. I know there's one that has a bigger opening. I'm just waiting for it now think. Oh yeah, here it comes. And... Oh, come on! There it is. Oh, it was right there! Oh, oh. I got, I got... Oh, you made somewhat. Oh, I, yeah, I want to make it to the other side, which is what I did, and here's the kid. I can't get to him. I could go down here. Oh, I wonder if... Oh, you gotta maybe have pickaxe or something i don't know i don't know i don't know what they're trying to do here i mean eventually i'm gonna i'm gonna figure this out yeah i found a blowback band whatever that is all right let's uh so who do you got for this i'm sorry yeah i got orange and shibata okay that makes sense to me all right so the rest of the matches from this point are going to be the main card mm -hmm. so now discussing Kid. That's all right. You don't have to read. We're just gonna grab these kids and. Yeah. All right. Now discussing Adam Copeland, Eddie Kingston, and Mark Briscoe versus the House of Black. Another match I don't really care about. <laughs> um, I don't know because you're just throwing them together, Edge or Adam Copeland and. 
Mark Briscoe and Eddie Kingston. That's this very, very thrown together team versus the established six man team of the House yeah. of Black. I mean, maybe the situation. Oh, here's me thinking out loud here. Maybe the situation was that it was supposed to be Copeland versus Black, and Malachi Black did not want to lose. Maybe. <laughs> Even though, didn't he write something on social media that says that's none of that, or he owns like none of that's true? Yeah. And I'm like, okay, fine, then lose next week then. Just to someone. I don't care who it is. Anyone. He has, I don't think he's he's done that since, and that was like a month ago. Right. I mean, they've also, like, in storyline, they, they have attacked Copeland. Because Copeland has, like, his open challenge for the TNT title. Right. But none of them have challenged for it. So, I... I it's an interesting six-man tag. I'll say that. Mm -hmm. Um, I think... House of Black's gonna go over in this one. Oh yeah, I think so too. I think this is, if anything, maybe this is actually setting up for Malachi Black versus somebody that, mm -hmm. you know, one, one of them that you know, for a singles match down the line. And then Mark Briscoe just recently won the Ring of Honor World title, so I, I, I don't think they're gonna be going for that belt, or at least not yet anyway. Yeah. They, they may in the future. Who knows? I gotta go for this. I think I'm gonna go with back in the cattle or the cow stampede because I don't think there's anything else over here. All right. By the way, I do want do to, do me a favor and do take some time to look up a walkthrough. I if you could find one for this because I'm giving this about another half hour and I'm gonna start asking another 20 minutes and then if I don't get anywhere new, I'm gonna ask you what am I supposed to do? All right. Let me. Because so I have the video, I'm just gotta get to. Yeah, you gotta find the part. So yeah, take your time. I'm just gonna be yeah. running around and doing this cat, this cow stampede. <laughs> no. Wait for my opening. All right. Uh, all right. Um. Here, I'll put in also what our next match is. Okay. It is Hook versus Chris Jericho for the FTW title. I don't know how I feel about this one. <laughs> I think I'm with, the, with what seems to be a lot of fans of, or, or a good amount of fans of AEW on social media, where I'm just like, I don't really, I think I'm, I need Jericho to take a break. Mm-hmm. Well, I mean... The, the the angle they're trying with this angle, but I don't know if it's coming out successful or not, because the angle was Jericho wanted to teach oh, Hook. What is this? What? We. There's my answer. Okay, that's good. Anyway, go ahead. Sorry, I was excited because yeah. something new happened. Right. <laughs> So, yeah, Jericho wanted to take Hook. Oh, yeah, you, you got to get. Yep. Um, Jericho wanted to take Hook under his wing and kind of be a mentor. And Hook was kind of hesitant about it. Mm -hmm. And then, oh, there's a D you go. And then finally on Dynamite, Jericho pushed Taz down. Because Taz was like the moderator for this. Yeah. And, you know, that got Hook's attention and it got him mad. And. See. I did and catch the thing, the thing where. What did he see? He said a line. Oh, no, I forgot to heal. All my guys are like in rough shape now. Didn't he say a line where. I don't know where he's like. To set Taz was like, oh, you should have raised him better 30 years 30 ago. 30 years ago. <laughs> And he's not and, 30 years old. Yeah, he's more like in his mid 20s. I mean, how are you feeling about Chris Jericho in in April of 2024? I think he's getting to a point where he is going to need a break. 
like he's doing like the first few years you know he was great he was fantastic and then i think honestly when the rumor came out about something that may or may not have happened with oh, Kylie yeah, Ray. Yeah, it's not all about that, actually. That's kind of when the mood changed completely towards Jericho. I don't know if I agree with that. I feel like people were tired of him before that. Too. But I, I, I do think he does need a break. Like, he needs to be off TV for a while. Right. But the question is, like, how do you do it? You know? Like, how do you get him off TV? I mean... I don't know. I, could, I almost feel like there's probably an easy answer for this, but I can't think of what it is. Yeah. Well, I, I, I hate to say this, but... I think Jericho's gonna win that title. Yeah? Uh, so yeah. I think, I think Hook's gonna win. I still, I still like Hook, but I mean... Oh, yeah, Hook's still good. He's... It's just he doesn't get used often no. until recently. Right. It's... Like, he... Yeah, God. No, I was gonna say, like, he should be in a position where... Honestly, he should be going for, like, the TNT title. Yeah. I'm gonna die. Might as well let, let him kill me, because I, I I wanted to buy items to begin with, but I can't figure out how to yeah. get out of here, so I'm, at least now I know what I'm doing this time. Yeah. And look who's the last one standing again. I'm not gonna kick <laughs> out. Just kill me. That's oh, ring the bell, ring the bell. Ring the bell! Give me the old wherever I am screw job. <laughs> the board game screw job. Oh yeah, that's right. You know what, Bill? If it starts me exactly where I am again, I'm gonna be mad. But I did the job. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know why he's crying. It's not him that lost, but okay. He, he took the dive. <laughs> he uh, took the dive and he didn't even know. All right, good. It's not, it put me over here. Oh, wait, that's right. I can't leave. That's all right, though, because at least I can heal now and I'll be more aware of things. Yeah. Okay, so who, you got Jericho. I think Hook's going to win. I think... You know what should happen? It should be that Hook is the one that takes him out for a little bit. Yeah. Like, maybe he he does one of the suplexes and that takes him out and it puts over Hook as being... Like, his suplex as being really dangerous. Mm-hmm. I think that would be the best route to go. Yeah. All right. Uh, let me get this in for our next one. can't type for some reason. Okay, we are now discussing Roderick Strong versus Kyle O'Reilly for the international title. What are your thoughts on this one? This is like the weirdest angle I think of all of these going into this show. So, yeah, why don't you catch me up on it? Okay. So, Kyle O'Reilly returned at Revolution last month. And all he did was congratulate Roderick for winning the title. And they wanted him to join the group, and Kyle was, like, like he kind of denied the, the, op the offering. And then he was like, I want to go on my own. And then... Like, a few weeks later, Strong and his group attacked O'Reilly. 
and O'Reilly, I think, fought back just recently. Okay. And this is how we got to this match. I mean, he just... How long ago did, um... Wait, who's the international champion again? It's... Strong. Strong. I mean, he just won it, though, right? Like He just much. won it. So I think he's going to win here. I don't think we're going to have him lose. I, I would think that's the right way to go. I really do. Like, nothing against O'Reilly, because I, I, I do like him, but it would just be dumb to put the belt on him after Strong won the belt. It, it would really make no sense. Yeah. So, we'll, we'll, we'll see what happens. Mm -hmm. Alright, so I guess, um, again, I don't really, I, I don't know, like I said, I just watched the one episode of Dynamite, and so I don't really know too much. You're kind of helping me fill in you know, fill in the blanks, I guess you would say. But also, yeah. I did want to mention that our next episode is going to be, our next live stream is going to be Backlash, I believe, right? Mm hmm Now, I will say this to everyone, that me and Bill have talked about, we're definitely doing something for it, but yeah. we're not sure what, because it's very, very, it's a weird situation. While you explain to people why it's maybe not the same like it is today, or even WrestleMania night too. Okay. So this show is taking place at one PM in the afternoon. Our time. Eastern, Eastern. Our time, Eastern Coast. I told Jim that I had something going on during the day and there was no way I was gonna get be able to get out of it. So, and I and I think you Maybe had something going on. I might. Maybe. I'm actually still not sure about that, but so more than like, there's a chance that it's either gonna be on Saturday evening mm -hmm. or possibly even Friday evening. I think right. we're leaning towards Friday evening right now, but you know, check our social media and all that, and I'll know more certainly after this time next week. Yeah. All right. Well, why don't we get to our next discussion. Julia Hart versus Willow Nightingale for the TBS title. All right, let's get your thoughts first. All right. So really, the whole angle to this, and really the whole purpose of the match, is to determine who's going to face Mercedes Monet at double, at double or nothing. Right. next month because and this is a big complaint that I've heard from fans and I actually agree with that. Monet declared herself as the next challenger right. to the title and I totally agree with the fans because they brought back the ranking system and it's like oh she gets to jump over everybody that's in the rankings to get this title match. Yeah, it's stupid. I yeah. I am not a fan of Mercedes anyway. Let me make that clear right. as well. But I mean, this is just this is a like how to not win over this fan base, so to speak, because this is a very I don't know if I'll say this, say it now, like now, you know, right now, but this is, I would say, a very WWE thing to do. It is. But also, I mean, there's definitely been a shift since I've seen WrestleMania, like, of a different direction they're going in that. I don't know if it's a direction now that they would go. Yeah. Um, so, and, and I kind of want to add on to this. If it is Willow that wins, the the setup for that match makes perfect sense because when Mercedes had her ankle broken last year, she was in the match or she was in a match with Willow Nightingale, and it was like a freak accident because the video I don't know if the video is still up or not. 
But basically what happened was Mercedes was trying for a move on the top rope. This was at uh, a New Japan Strong Show last year. So she tried a move, kind of lost her balance on the top rope, went down to the floor, and she landed feet first onto the floor, which is what caused her to break her ankle. So in that sense, that storyline makes a, a ton of sense for that side. With Julia Hart, it's every time Julia has tried to attack, say, Willow or Chris Statlander, Monet has been there to make the save. And then there's been a thing where Somebody attacked Monet a few weeks ago from the blind side. Right. Somebody attacked Nightingale from the blind side. And we don't know who it is. It could be Julia. It might not be. I, I almost I definitely don't want it to be Julia, because that's the most predictable one, and I want it to be someone else, for sure. Mm -hmm. And I I like both women. I Julia has improved a lot. Mm -hmm. Honestly, since joining House of Black, like if you like if you remember her time <laughs> as the cheerleader in the Varsity Blods, however many years ago that yeah, was, yeah. compared to now, well, no, she I, is. I, I get what you're saying, but also like it just. I remember back when it happened. I'm like, oh, this feels like Alex Alexa Bliss to me. No, she's, like, all of a sudden, she's... she winds up going. To the dark. Like, can we stop that, by the way? I would like, because that seems like a tired trophy, because they didn't, in Sky Blue, oh, now Sky Blue's dark. Can we stop that? Yeah, but Sky Blue does look good. <laughs> well, I mean, I'm not sit watching Sky Blue, but, I mean, like I said, I I get what you're saying, but I don't... Um. No, and, and I get what you're, where you're going at as well. No, I, I, I get where you're going, so. Um, I... I think it's going to be Willow that wins this. Okay. I, I don't I, think so because I think, unfortunately, whoever's going to win is going to lose to Mercedes. And I don't see them doing one title change, back, two title changes back to back. Again, that's that's a good argument, you know. Or, you know, as, as like uh, one of my friends would say, they're hot potatoing the belt. Yes. Which I think should be a um, that should be a term, you know, in the wrestling lexicon. Yeah. If we I can, that. If, if we can make that, is there? Okay, you know what? Off off topic, real quick. Is has there ever been a book released of like wrestling terms and <laughs> lexicon? There has put to out be. If there hasn't, that would be a fantastic book. Like, you could use all the old ones and then put in a few new ones that are on social media and podcasts. And I mean, there's certainly enough of them. Because I think Hot Potato would be a great one to add. Yeah, Hot Potato's good. Watch. It, it'll, it'll happen, and then someone will write the book, and then it'll be like, <laughs> Hey, where's my share of the of the revenue of the book? I want my money. <laughs> <laughs> Where is the um? I, I'm 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 very, I wouldn't be surprised if it's already exists. I just have not heard of it. Uh, I have to. How many kids do I have left? Four. Four. Six, Four. Right. And I know one is in the center. I gotta figure out that one. Yeah. And did you ever find the uh, the walkthrough kit? I mean, I'm making progress, but just in case I need it. Yeah, I, I, I have it. Right. Just trying to avoid so, battles because I can't get new items or anything, so. Yeah. All right. Uh, while you're doing that, let me put up the next match. All right, 
It is Kazuchika Okada versus Pac for the Continental title. This is kind of like the other match that we're going to talk about where I want to be excited for this, but you know Okada's going to win. Oh, yeah. It's, it's very predict predictable. It's very predictable. I think... Uh-oh. Oh. What do we have here? It's you. Oh. Okay. Hmm. This might be just right. Oh, that's how I get them on the middle. Okay. Okay. Um, I will say, though. Oh, this is oh, you. Oh, yeah. Drink. Uh, you, you can't be serious. That's an insane jump. Bill, Bill Goldberg did an insane jump. Stupid piece of shit. Wow. Calm down, if, you, if you have faith, even fish can fly. But we should attach some ropes here first. Is this gonna be now? I have to collect rope. Yeah. All right. So I gotta find different colored rope now. All right. So what I was gonna say was one of the things that AEW has done tremendously, I think, and, and it's kind of like very hidden is how they've done the Continental title matches. They have basically kept the rules from the tournament they did at the end of last year. Okay. Where everyone is barred from ringside, no outside interference, it's man against man, may the best person win. Mm -hmm. And I haven't seen yet in any of the title matches one time where someone has used a weapon you know do something drastic cheating to win it has just been good wrestling right I mean Kingston was the first guy, was the right guy to be the first man to have the belt now you've got Okada, and it's a perfect example or a good way to use Okada with that belt. You know, he doesn't have to lose a match for a long time. So the Continental Division, for you know, however many people are in that division, is probably right now my new favorite division. Oh, okay. So at least they're sticking to the rules. You know, they're sticking to what they said at the beginning. Right. So. I'm trying but, to remember how I entered here because I want to leave because apparently I have to go find green ropes. Wasn't it to the left? Is it? Because I feel like I would have remembered fighting that guy over there. That's true. Uh, like I said, if another 20 minutes, I might ask you to help me with the walkthrough. All right. In like 15, 20 minutes if I can't figure this out. Okay. But no, so you agree about Okada, though, as far as yeah. he's winning. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's see. Yeah, just let's walk away. I don't know. I'm going to go left because it's the only place I haven't been yet. Even though it looks okay. like there's nothing there. All right, what's the next match? Next match. The Young Bucks versus FTR, the finals of the tag team title tournament in a ladder match. Mm -hmm. yeah, you go so, first, yeah. Okay, so basically, the alleged reason, keyword being alleged, that it's a ladder match is because FTR does not want to be pinned. Okay. I, I could be wrong with that. Um, it, it could be other reasons. It could be some who say, oh, this was always the plan, which I highly doubt. Right. Um, and this is their fourth match in the series. And, of course, the whole big controversy is they used the punk footage 
of the brawl as part of the storyline. Yeah. And there were reports a few days after that aired where the Bucks said, we don't want to do this. <laughs> Meaning, you know, introducing the video. Mm -hmm. And, like, the whole part of it was in their promo, they used Punk or the incident as an excuse as to why they didn't beat FTR the last time they fought. Okay. Which I think is really stupid. Okay. Um, honestly, I think if they were just going to show the photo, or, or not photo, video, they should have just shown the video. Mm -hmm. Because I, I said if it wasn't going to be used in AEW ever, it probably was going to be shown on a dark side of the ring at some point. I think that's, a, that's fair to say. And the other thing that I said, and I said this on Twitter at House of Bill, this or that incident is basically Montreal, but with social media. Mm -hmm. It will never die. Yeah, I can see that. I can see it living on in some way. Now, so, so yeah, so what do you think of this? Do you think, uh, who do you think's winning this? I, I would think it has to be the Bucks. Yeah, I think so like, too. It, it has to be. And then the other question that goes into this. Does Jack Perry return at this show? Because he has been mentioned. That's what I thought the whole why the, the footage was being shown in the first place was for him to return on Dynamite. Mm hmm But I can see that, that this being the case for for his return too. Yeah. But maybe that's why it's a ladder match, because he has to run in. Yeah. Cause like I, I've read a couple people say like Oh, Perry could come back. He could join the elite. And then there was like another person who was like, oh, he could be AEW's version of Crow Sting, where like he gets blamed for what happened in London, you know, being the scapegoat and all that. I don't think I'd do that with Perry, I really don't. No, I mean, I don't see him as a sting, that's for sure, yeah. No, no. I think if he was with the Elite, I think that would... Uh, that that would be huge. Yeah, Because sure. in storyline, Paige is suspended from uh, attacking the re a referee during the triple threat match from the last pay-per-view. Mm -hmm. And Omega was quote unquote fired from the elite because right. he had missed so many days. Right. Yeah. Which is a great way to get him out of it the group. Because yeah, we don't know when he's coming back at all. Exactly. So I could see Perry coming back and maybe helping the Bucks win. I think that would be like the only logical thing to do with him at this point. Yeah, I because although then where in the world do you bring him in? You didn't bring him in for the footage being shown. Yeah, see, nothing's, mm -hmm. nothing's over here. Uh, All right. Yeah, why? why yeah, like, the, I, I'm still surprised that he wasn't brought in after the footage was shown. I really am. Yeah. So, that match is... No matter what happens, if it ends up being a great match or a bad match, that's going to be one of the ones that gets talked about a lot because of what could happen, what might happen, and what might not happen. Mm -hmm. So I found my way out. So oh, good. I don't think it was right. over here. Let's see. So, like I said, three of the kids now. We know one is in the middle. 
Yeah. And we need the big green rope for that one. Wherever that'll wind up being. Oh, this is, I'm back in the beginning now, so... Let's go this way. Or not. Let's kick the cart. What? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think that opened a door. Oh, maybe. Or a cave. Or whatever. Alright, so let's... What? I'm just gonna go follow that cart and where it went. Won't let me follow the cart, so I guess I'll go. Oh, you were supposed to ride the cart. No, because uh, it would have it would have reappeared if that was the case. Springboard. Yeah, let's see where we go here, and then I'll put up the next match. Yeah. Oh, I don't. Yeah, I don't think I was here at all, because I no. would have remembered fighting this guy. Yeah. I don't think I'm gonna have to find him because I don't think I can get. Well, maybe. maybe I don't know. Let's see. Nope. The window All is right. too small. Go ahead, put up the next match. All right, I'm gonna put up the next match. Yeah, but I think the young bucks are gonna win. And Jack Perry returns. And they better give him Justin Timberlake's song. <laughs> Wonder how much that would cost. It's a pretty old song. I don't. I feel like it wouldn't cost that much. All right, now we are discussing Tony Storm versus Thunder Rosa for the AEW Women's Title. What are your thoughts? Okay, Tony is going to win this match because I believe the ultimate end goal is her and Mariah May. Yes, I can see that. Maybe not next month, but later in the summer. That has to be the end goal. Um, although, the, the, the story to the match makes sense because Rosa, remember when Rosa was champion, I actually had to read this to remember it. Rosa was champion when she was injured. She was never beaten for the belt. Right. And Tony was the one who won it at the time. And, you know, it's like, hey, I never lost. You know, I should have this match, which she does. Um, I think we're going to get interference. I think Mariah May is going to get involved. I think Deanna Perrazzo is going to get involved. She's still in the mix. Um, but, yeah, I, I think Tony is winning this match. I think this is definitely another match that's very predictable. Yes, Tony Storm, I don't see any way Thunder Rose is winning this match at all. I, I agree with you. See, I'm glad you brought the Mar Mariah May thing because I wasn't thinking that. And my big thing was, uh, is this going to be another um, Mercedes situation? Mm -mm. But you're Actually, right, it makes way more sense for Mar Mariah May to do something. And also, by the way, maybe you have an answer for me on this, but where's Britt Baker been? I have no idea. She has not been on TV in forever. I mean, was she injured, or you don't know? I don't think she was. But, to kind of piggyback on Mariah May, when that angle first started, however long ago that was, the comparison that I remember reading, and, and, and maybe you'll get this reference, I'm not sure. Have you ever seen the movie All About Eve? No. Okay. So basic, so the story basically is there's this big actress who's a huge star, and there's a young lady who's like a super fan of hers. And she follows her everywhere, does everything for her until she has like this one big break and she ends up being the big star. Mm -hmm. So, and there were some people that were comparing that movie to this angle from the very beginning. Okay. Which I absolutely saw, like, because I've seen that movie. Um, 
it's like 70 years old. Um, so if it, if, so if it does, oh, I sure in here is this, yeah. I should save the children down here first. Yes, this is yelling to me. This is the last thing I have to do. Yeah. So you got to get at least two more. All right. So, yeah, it's like everyone was like, oh, this is all about Eve. Um, you know, Tony is. So how does it all about, I mean, okay, spoilers for those that won't care about all about Eve coming out. Yeah. How does that end? Because I'm certainly not watching it. Okay. So it ends with the young lady becoming the big star the the actress that she admires doesn't really lose anything but at the end there's another girl who admires the girl from the very beginning of the movie and it's almost like complete deja vu it's going to happen all over again but you never see it right so there is that possibility, you know, if... I don't know if they would go that far into it, but it's a possibility, you know, in the future, maybe they do that. But... All right. You know, it remains to be but, seen. But, I mean, do you agree that it's like there's no... There's one, another one of those, like, oh, the Okada match that... There's no way yeah. that Thunder Rose is winning this one. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. All right. Uh, so while you're springboarding yeah, from place to figure place, out where these damn kids are, <laughs> you're gonna miss out on dinner. Oh yeah, wait. The, I have to go investigate the um the possible wall that might have broken down. Yeah. I think it's up here. I think it would have been. Yeah, there's the broken cart. Oh, and there's a kid. But oh, I see. I gotta use the cart up here though. All right, so as you're moving cart to cart, mm -hmm. now it is time to discuss Will Ospreay and Brian Danielson. Just like the Tony Storm match and the Okada match, you know that Ospreay's going to win. And it's very predictable, although it will be a great match, I'm sure. Oh my god, it's going to be an insane match. Um, Tony, or not Tony... Will has become the biggest baby face in AEW. And he didn't have to do a thing. He just went in. He had that one match with uh, Takeshita. And he is now like the, the baby face of AEW. And it's almost set in stone. You know, without even dirt sheets or reporters or anyone mentioning it. Yeah. He's going to main event the Wembley show in August and competing for the AEW title. Really? That's what you think? He's, you think he's going to main event the All-In show? Oh, God, yeah. Really? Oh, I mm -hmm. wasn't seeing I had thought that. I, I guess I don't know what I thought, but I, I didn't think that. I didn't think that. He's He is so over. Like... He, where could how could I compare this? I don't because I don't want to use Cody as an ex, as like the current example. Sure, because that was like a completely different way of a baby face. I would say maybe Daniel Bryan 2013, 2014, okay. where everybody got behind him. He could do no wrong i don't i don't mean like he could do no wrong but it's like he's the guy that the fans kind of relate to the most mm -hmm. and he's had matches like banger after banger you know some of them five stars some of them five and a quarter five and you know whatever oh, yeah but he's put on really good matches week after week. And the match with Danielson is one of those dream matches. Because, like I said, Danielson is kind of where Osprey was but 10 years ago in the popularity. And it's like 
okay, at some point, Osprey's going to get a world title shot. Right. And I think the only the only way or the only place it can happen is London. It's the only way. Like, if they don't do it, there are gonna be a lot of upset British people. I will I'll say that. Mm-hmm. Oh, couldn't you get on the cart there? No. Oh wait, maybe. No. No. Really, no, it doesn't light up. No, because right. I think that's uh, unless I go around. Right. Yeah, I'll do that. That's actually good. No, I can't go around. I gotta go up. I got that's on. Uh, that's on something. No, okay. I'm trying to get back to the spot that I was at when the cart wouldn't go. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to figure out how I get back up there because I think that's where I gotta go. Because the only kid that I know that's left is the one that's in the middle with the cow with the, stampede. Yeah, you know, the cow stampede. So I'm wondering if like the what I'm thinking is the I get the kid that's in with the cow stampede and then there's going to be some kind of cut scene of like the last kids up against this one enemy and that's the end of it you have to beat the enemy that's what I'm thinking right now but I don't know oh wait there we go I'm sorry I don't know how to get back up there I think it's this way and then up mm-hmm And then avoid him. Yeah. Oh, right. Go out here. And then... Hmm. He's down here. Where does this take me again? Let's see. I don't know if... No, because if I go left, I think I'm just back to the beginning again. Yeah. Oh, however, maybe I gotta go up here. Maybe that's how I got there. Oh, no, no. That's leaving again. Oh, take current roofs. There it is. Now I can go back to that that place. I gotta... I'm trying to avoid these guys. Even though I still don't know exactly where it is that I'm supposed to go. No, no, no! Damn it! Alright, so you do you agree that Danielson has no chance of winning them? Yeah, I agree. I, I totally agree. Now, how healthy are your team mates? Pretty good. It should be pretty healthy, pretty yeah. Good. Yeah, yeah, no, I'm good. I, I just am trying to conserve duct tape. Oh yeah, you should be fine. Yeah, I should be alright. And they all went up a level, so they're they're gaining, they're, they're getting better. Strength wise. Yeah. Yeah. Why don't we do this battle and then we'll discuss the main event? Okay. By the way, you know what's something I was thinking of watching? I don't know if you're able to watch this at all. Maybe for if we have extra time in May for what you know, for the backlash show. Um, mm-hmm. that clusterfuck event. Oh, I did watch it. All right, don't tell me anything. I'm, I'm going to try to watch it within the next two weeks. Okay. And talk about it if we have extra time during the backlash event. All right. All I'm going to say is it is 87 people. Right, because I saw the Punjabi prison match. Up there, right? Okay. And I was told, and you can tell me if this is right or wrong, that the only other match is the clusterfuck. Exactly. So, okay. It is. And who is it again? Who's the is this game changer? Yeah, it's game changer. I may I may have to watch that match again now. Yeah, I'm ready. gonna watch it within the next two weeks for sure. Yeah, I won't spoil any of that. So. Even even if I did, I don't know if you'd remember. So. <laughs> it's crazy they have eighty. 87 people though. Yeah, I know. So Bill, I, although, although I will give GCW props for this. The fact that they were able to get that size of a crowd after WrestleMania ended. Because mm. of course... Oh yeah, you know, that was late, right? That was a late Yeah. 
because of course you know there's the possibility that a lot of them didn't go to wrestlemania yes you know there is that possibility so okay now while you're doing this yep. i don't know if you've seen the pictures or not but wwe came out with new tag team championship belt designs okay so at first off i am so glad because <coughs> pardon me because the the tag titles they had they were so ugly looking they looked like giant belt like giant coins on straps okay it was so bad so so they did a segment on raw monday night this past monday yeah, I'm going to have to fight because I can't get past this. What I yeah. think I'm supposed to do is, this is probably what I'm supposed to do because I grab the rope and then you have to go all around again to get it onto yeah. the thing that we saw earlier. Yeah. All right, go ahead. So they did a segment with Miz and R-Truth showing them the belts, or presenting them with the belts. It is a much better design than the raw the old raw tag belts um they are called the world tag team titles okay um it's a round like shape mainly black strap um it's a nice looking belt not the best but it, it's a lot like i said it's a lot better than the previous one mm -hmm. And then, on Friday, on SmackDown, they did the same thing, but it's the WWE Tag Team Titles. Okay. And they look almost like the old Tag Team Belts from the 90s. Oh, that's not cool, alright. Oh, they look beautiful. Oh my gosh. Like, it's pure gold and that's the other thing at least both of them are gold so when they you know like they say oh we're challenging for the gold at least they're actually challenging for, for gold, gold. Yeah. so but yeah if if you you know on twitch watching this have not seen the pictures i recommend it the wwe tag team titles are the better of the two looking so yeah, please check it out. It, it, you will not be disappointed. You will not be disappointed at all. By the way, get, real quick, um, what does the Backlash card look like? Before we get to, because I think all we have left is the main event, right, for yeah. Dynasty. Right now, they only have two matches announced. AJ Styles is challenging... Cody Rhodes for the WWE title. See, that makes me want to watch the show. If that, and hopefully that. What am I doing? I Why think, am I going back? I think that's a first-time match, actually. Not a yeah, not be, match. yeah, because they AJ were both in Bullet Club. Well, not only that, but also when AJ left Impact, it was like the next year or two that Cody was in Impact, yeah. so they would have not crossed paths there. Yeah. So there's that. And then Damien Priest defends the world heavyweight title against Jay Uso. Okay. So that's the current card as of this moment. And then tomorrow night on Raw, of course, this will have already happened for those of you listening on the podcast. Replay, yeah. Or the podcast. yeah, on replay. Um, they're doing a battle royal to crown a new women's world champion because Rhea got legit injured and had to vacate the belt because she had an injury to her AC joint, mm -hmm. which is the arm. Um, because she oh, let me see real quick so that way I don't yeah. lose a lot of health here. <laughs> yeah, so she took a bump into a wall like there was a fight between her and Liv Morgan backstage 
Liv throws her into the wall. And when that happened, she had hit the wall, and then that's where the injury happened. They don't know the severity of the injury. It could be grade one, could be grade two, could be grade three. But, um, you know, whoever wins tomorrow is the new women's world champion. Okay. So two thoughts on this. Number one, I, I'm, look, I'm, I am, I'm going to say it right now. I'm not a Rhea Ripley fan at all. Okay. That being said, why is that like Roman only defended like five times in the whole year and he got to keep his title and like, why doesn't Rhea get to? That's a good point as well. Not even just Rhea, probably Logan Paul too. Now that I'm thinking about it. I'm, I'm, that's a good point. I mean, they're definitely not, they definitely don't. WWE long abandoned the 30 day rule. <laughs> I think every promotion has abandoned the 30 day rule I by know. this point. I feel like AEW's done pretty good with that. Yeah, that's true. TNA as well. TNA too. I, I really think I'm not trust your chest. Uh, and the second thing is with Backlash coming up, why not do the battle royal at Backlash? That's a good point. That's a very good By the way, we got one kid left, and we know exactly what to do, but I don't remember how to get to where it was. I think it's up, or is it down here? I don't remember. I think it's down... Let's see. He went to the right. Don't you... Isn't there, like, an entrance there? Yeah, I think... Here? Oh, no, you passed where I was thinking, so... I mean, I'll go back up here, I guess, because there's got to be a way to get up there. Yeah. Or maybe, like, if you go back to the tree. To the tree? Which tree? Uh, to the right. Yeah. Go. Oh, you're saying this way? Yeah. No, it's just a dead end. Oh, dead end? Cool. Okay. And then the other thing, the last WWE thing, mm -hmm. before we get to the, for... the main event. Oh, what if you what if you went down? Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm doing like, that, and then like, do I have to pass the stampede again? Maybe that's what I have to do and go up. Yeah. Yeah, because I always hear it's the treasure chest. So, I believe it starts this Friday. They are doing a draft, WWE draft. Okay. Um. By the way, so they're going to do even less sense than that. They're doing the battle royal. Right. So I, you know, this is got... like the first year I think in the long term where I'm like not mad about the draft. Yeah. Because I'm like, okay, look, if the Triple H run show, maybe he will actually keep it where both sides are not really touching each other. Yeah. I want to give them the benefit of the doubt for that one. So yeah, they're gonna do one on SmackDown I'm go this Friday. And Pete again, so let me see. And then not. This Monday, but the following Monday is night two. Okay. So, my thinking is, if you have a title already, you are staying in the brand you're... That's what I'm thinking. You're staying in that brand. Mm -hmm. Like, I, I imagine Cody's going to SmackDown because he's got the WWE title. Yeah which I, I have no problem with. Um, the one I'm kind of curious about if they're going to do the switch is with the Intercontinental and U.S. title. Okay. That's like, that's the one I'm curious about. Will they pull, or will they do that switch? Because sometimes, like in the past, they had done that where it's like, okay, this belt now goes to this brand, that belt goes to this brand. Yeah. But other than you, but yeah, I, I agree with you. I want to see how this is done. Um, you know, who is going where. So here's what I can't figure out right now. I need to get up there to the right on the thing, mm -hmm. but both of the carts are on the right. Wasn't there? Oh, there's a ladder. 
Yeah, but I don't think I can actually use that ladder. No, see, it doesn't let me click on it at all. Huh. So that's what I'm trying to figure out, is like, did that, how did you get the cart on the, to the left side to go right? Because you can't just walk on the tracks, apparently. I don't think you can. No, see, I'm trying it right now. It does not let me. Yeah. Unless I go back outside, let me see. And then if I go back outside here. Yeah. I think this will bring me just back. I'm not sure though. I'm gonna try it because, yep, this is gonna bring me back to over here. Screech! No, I don't want that though. I want to go here. Go back to where <laughs> I was before. I thought there was actually. Wait, can I go across this? Like, no. I didn't think so, because that's not how I did it the first time. Oh, mm -hmm. wait, didn't... Maybe I have to go up and... where that cart fell. Yeah. Alright, so let's get out of here, go down here. Avoid him. Down. Go up. Him. Yeah, I don't. I have no idea. Zero idea right now. Because there's not even a thing go that lets me go up. Mm hmm. Uh, I guess I gotta go outside again. Let me try that. Yeah. Alright, why don't we post up that last match and then that way we'll right. do some general talking afterwards. I can't believe this wound up being the two hours. This is just like the friggin' cave or the color cave. Mm hmm. Maybe in like ten minutes, I'll ask you to tell me what you what you see on that walkthrough. Because okay. you know you know what you gotta look for. You gotta look for how he gets to the thing to the ring on the top. Right. So you can just go right to the end and then just tell me from there. Like to the end of the. All right. Process. Now, now discussing Samoa Joe versus Swerve Strickland for the AEW World Title. So, you go first. This, if I was doing a confidence pool today, what's that? This would, like, that's where you rank the matches from, like, the highest, like, the most confident to the least confident. Oh, okay. This would be my one pointer. Because I could legit see both guys winning here. Yes, I agree. I agree. With Swerve. He is still very over. He, like I, I said earlier, Will is like the big baby face. That was where Swerve was months ago. And he has gotten the fans over with him. You know, like he is insanely over. Yeah. But Samoa Joe has been a pretty good world champion. And it's like both winning would make sense because if Swerve wins, you know, it's like he finishes the whole thing of I've wanted to be world champion. Whereas with Joe, he's been this dominant ass kicker champion from when he first won the belt. And with Swerve, he was not the one that was beat at that last pay-per-view. It was Adam Page who was the one that was beat. Mm -hmm. So in a way, Swerve has the right to this title shot. The thing is, this is my big concern. If Swerve loses this match... When does he get another chance as good as this one? Right. Because he is still over. He is still popular. You know, it's like... 
if you do it now, how long of a reign do you give him as champion? And it kind of goes back to the whole Will Ospreay thing. Like, does Will get the title next? Yeah, there, there's just so many things. And then with Joe, you know, he's been a good heel champion. And it's like, how long, how much longer do you go with him with the title? Mm-hmm. All right, so I want you to look this up because I, I don't know how to get okay. back to where, where we were before. All right, let me... And then we'll finish our Joe versus Swerve discussion after we, yeah. get, after we get up there. Of course, a lot of this I'm going through is like... How match the kids right yeah yeah but there's also like matches or fights you have to do so i'm trying to all right okay so how did you get up there that's... oh no that's a different part you know if you spoiled a little for yourself just don't tell me just like yeah get to where he actually reaches that middle ring that's pretty much what you're looking for yeah and then just backtrack from there. I'll keep trying and trying to figure this out, but yeah, I like to spend the next ten minutes, I think, here to you tell me what I'm supposed to do to to get up there. Cause we have the rope. We have the rope we got yeah. a little bit earlier. We are in possession of the rope. There's anything up here. So you went there. I'm just gonna find him. But I'd rather do that at this point than just maneuver yeah. around him. Plus, you're, you gotta look at your th- look at the thing anyway. So that's another match.
I know, folks. This is such thrilling streaming that you guys are watching <laughs> right now. I mean, they almost, they just saw Lochador die and come back to life. <laughs> I got hurt big time on that one, actually. <laughs> tape him up. I go, uh, yeah, tape him up, basically. direction that you need me to go to or you're not there yet i'm not there yet right, so i'll keep trying to figure it out myself yeah even though that seems to be getting me nowhere okay so that's your sixth kid okay uh... right now just watch to see how he gets back up to that ring area yeah here again i'll try looking around again over here you just let me know when you're ready to give me instructions all right i will let you know I mean, like I said, I think the thing that's throwing me off is the fact that the carts are on the right side. Yeah. Oh, come on. You don't need to be doing another match. <laughs> this is the Blue Dragon, by the way, for those that are curious. Okay. So cheap plug to the Blue, the Dragon. Blue Dragon. Assuming the Blue Dragon is going to do it right. There's nothing here. Save now I pass the horde again. I can get up there somehow. Mm -hmm. Now, do you have an extra set of ropes? Yeah, I have the one set that I got. No, but I mean like a second one just in case. No, why? Does he have two? Yeah. Okay, so that's a problem right there. So, no, I don't. So I don't know where he got that from. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back and I'm going to see if I can take more ropes from places. here. Uh. Right, 
Let's see if it lets me take these other ropes. Alright. This one says just about springboarding, so it's not that one. But I'll go back to the original place and see if I can figure it out. I'll go where I got these other ropes and then see if it gives me another option. Maybe that's what we're supposed to do. This doesn't let me take it either. So mm. let me go back to the where I got the original ropes. This guy doesn't say anything, right? No, please say, oh, this woman doesn't say anything. Please save them. So this is where I got the original rope. So if I tie, I guarantee you, if I tie, I guarantee you that if I take this rope, I'm going to go up to the ring, the, the ring place, but that's not what I'm supposed to do because I need a rope when I get there. Mm -hmm. I'm going to springboard and see what happens now. Maybe there's no, maybe you're right, maybe there's another set of ropes I gotta take. Alright, what about this? What does this one say? No, so that will springboard me back. It, like, the guy found it in a treasure chest. I, okay, so that's helpful to know. Do you know what treasure chest it was? Because I opened a couple of them already. It was, okay, you go past the herd of cows. Yeah. And then, here, let's, I'm, I'm watching on my screen here. I'm going to go towards the herd of cows right now. section of the herd of cows okay so okay so once you get in to that free hole wait so you want me to go down left right yeah. up down 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 into the right down to the right okay so let me get past the horde here Down to the right, you said? Yeah. Alright, I'm down into the right. I just put the horse right. down to the right. Okay, now go straight down. Yeah. Go okay. to the left. I'll go to the left. The left. Okay, left. No. Oh, see, I already got it. Alright, so I already have it, I guess. Because this is open. Huh. Okay. I'm looking around, treasure chests, and all of them are open. Uh, I haven't gotten hmm. an option to get another rope from any of the ropes that I passed already. I'm going to go back past the horde because i got to go back to where I was. Yeah. Be something in this cave, in this section that I'm not seeing. Yeah. Alright, what if I do this? Nope, that's a dead end. Okay, he's following the cows again. Oh, he's back in the cows again? Uh, um, yeah, he was. Um, I'm 
Now I'm just clicking around to see if there's something clickable that I'm not seeing. Right. I mean, at this point, we're like, we only have like 15 minutes left that we're staying on here anyway. Yeah. So if we don't figure it out in the next like five minutes, then we'll just call it a day and pick it up for backlash. Hey. And go. I'll already do it at that point. Mm hmm. And then I'll get a message and be like, it was so easy, Bill. I can't <sighs> believe it. Unfortunately, this whole. This was like the opposite of the WrestleMania stream. Where we mm -hmm. have lots of progress, we just search for kids the entire hour and 45 minutes. So what'd you do today, Bill? Oh, I searched kids for an hour and 45 oh, minutes. Well, obviously it is confusing the blue dragon here because he's <laughs> back and forth. You know, I want to bring that up while you're watching this. I feel like... We have to, to be, and I've been meaning to talk to you about this, actually. I feel like we're, like, one of the only people that, in the video game community, that's playing this game. And I think that, I think it's Mega Cat Studios should, like, be acknowledging us for playing this yeah. game consistently. My guess is Blue Cat probably, or Blue Dragon, um, is probably just playing and, like, oh, I'm just gonna record while I play, too. Mm -hmm. So he might be doing just a, a walkthrough of his own while looking through a walkthrough. Okay, so he took the original ropes back. What, to the so place on the bottom left? No, the one from earlier where yeah. you took them from? Yeah, yeah. So he took them, so he took it back. Okay. So we don't have to worry about getting another... Okay. Uh, Does it say let's... he has six out of seven kids yet? Yeah, he does. Okay, so he is definitely confused too, then. Yes. God, I hope he doesn't cut the video and is like, oh, I did it, and doesn't show us how to do it. Oh my god. Well, there is a part five right next to me in case we need to get to that. Well, how far in the video is it? Of the one you're He has on? three minutes left in the video. Oh, he, might, he probably did. He's probably going to figure it out on the next part. He probably cut it for that for for that part and was like, alright, I'll figure this out off camera. I mean we're, not, we're three minutes left, so we might as well wait for his three minutes, but I'm pretty sure that's probably what he did. I'm gonna talk about so Swerve versus Joe while you continue. Yeah, to watch. go right ahead. So my other problem with this match is is this a bad guy versus bad guy match? Like, are either of them good? Uh, I, I would think maybe Swerve's the good guy. Yeah, but he's with Prince Nana. And Nana, don't yeah. don't consider good at all. Right. So that's kind of weird. It makes, like, even if Swerve won, I, to me it would be, like, anticlimactic, because I'm like, oh, he's not really a full-fledged good guy. Which mm -hmm. makes me wonder if he is going to lose become a full-fledged good guy and then that's when wait a minute wait a minute wait a minute okay. i think i've got it all right what we got okay so let me back up a little bit all right so i'm gonna start from where he takes the ropes okay no oh, i went a little too far back hold on all right so while you get to the right spot look i'm gonna be right over here in front of this uh this cave so you just tell me where you need me to go eventually whether it's inside the cave or back out here to the left of the cows uh so yeah i it feels like if swerve wins it just doesn't feel right because he's a bad guy fighting another bad guy mm -hmm. and I don't know. It's part of me says he's gonna win because they're gonna be like, "Oh, there he is. We got to the first, you know, black champion within what five years or whatever." But also the fact that it's on this pay per view, AEW Dynasty, and not even established pay per view of theirs, right? One really makes me think like, "No, it's not gonna be here." 
Because then who's the big name that he's going to fight at Double or Nothing, which nothing. is one of their big pay-per-views that's been around since the beginning. I don't know. I just, I don't think it's going to be tonight. I think Swerve is going to lose, but eventually Swerve's going to turn good, maybe over the summer, and then maybe get mm -hmm. another shot at the belt. Maybe not at Samoa Joe, because he might have lost it already, but another shot mm -hmm. in general. Who do you think's winning that? <sighs> Now that you mentioned the whole thing of it's not an established pay-per-view, I think it is Joe that's going to retain. Yeah. I mean, if anything, maybe this is the breakup with Nana. Maybe. All right, so we have nine minutes left. We're going to see what we can do. Otherwise, I mean, we can stay on a couple minutes later, but if it doesn't look like we're going to solve it within nine minutes, then we're probably just going to peace out. Right. Like, come on, man. Get... How about up to here with hearing the cows moving? <laughs> yeah, we know where Jim's not going anytime soon. Yeah, not back <laughs> to this area, that's for sure. Okay, so we move down. Move. He's getting the rope again? Okay. All right, let me see. Okay, so he take Okay, now he has taken the rope back. Okay. So he's back to the start. You don't have to do that. You're fine where you are right now. Good, okay. Yeah, I'm at a good spot where I can go anywhere. That's why I'm, I've been sticking over here. Okay, so he flings across... Enters that cave or entrance. Yep. By the way, is this the new video now, or is this still the other one? This is still the other one. All right, I'm telling you, he's he's gonna give up. You're gonna see how much time's left in that video. Uh, three minutes still. Okay, so he went down that entrance. Goes back up. So yeah, all in all, in regards to the paper. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Okay. So go back. Okay. Oh, that's the problem. We don't have the cart on this side. What, on so the you, left. So you're saying we can't do it? No, you got to get the cart to the left side where you are. How? So he has one of the carts to the left? Yeah. Which one? The top one or the bottom one? The bottom one. Okay. All right, so this sounds like this is definitely going to be an off-recording thing at this point, because yeah. there's no way we're going to figure this out in, like, the next five minutes. Give me yeah. your thoughts on um, Swerve and Joe. Uh... I think Joe's going to retain. Should be a good main event. Um, be interesting to see how things go. Okay. All right. And then, like I said, we're going to do Backlash in May. We're going to, we're going to cut it out a little, a few minutes early here. Yeah. Because um, like, there's nothing we could do on the game. I can't believe that he, he has the card on the left side. I don't know how. But I'm probably gonna try to do this offline, I guess. And uh, okay. and what else is uh? Why, why don't you give your final plugs before we get out of here? Okay. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter at House of Bill, Instagram Mister Billiam eighty five. And for me, it's that's podcasting on Instagram and official RP Jimmy on uh, Twitch and YouTube. Bill. Uh, so next time we don't know again we don't know exactly what we're doing with backlash yet we're doing something yeah it might even have to get get pushed to an even earlier or later date I, I don't know yet but the fact that it's at one o'clock our time is really inconvenience for for us for that particular weekend <laughs> yeah so we'll figure out something even if it's a couple days earlier or a couple days later regardless we will do a stream and uh, I guess just keep an eye on our social media to know when that's going to be 
Any final thoughts, Bill? Uh, don't let your kids go. Make sure they're not uh, in mines and mazes and stuff. Right. All right, everyone. Later.